Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody or X Code A. How's it going today? Today's video is quite of a crazy story. Hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this. Today's story is about the time where I almost killed my dad. No, I didn't go the shining mode and take an axe through a door. I didn't drop him into the vat of toxic waste like in the old school Batman movies when they kill Penguin. Was it the Joker they killed in the toxic waste? Either way, this story takes place back when I was probably eight or nine years old. And I'll always remember this day because of what happened. So, me and my dad were going on this hike because where we live, there's a lot of mountain trails. If you guys watch my vlogs, you guys know that there's so many trails and there's so many places to go. But, but we were taking a hike to go up into this trail to see one of the views that you've actually seen in a bunch of my videos. I'll show it right now. And I think the plan was we were going to go up there and have like a picnic or something. Like we were going to eat something right at the view. And from what I can remember, I believe this was one of the first times that I had ever actually been up there, so it was kind of like exploring. I'll always remember that. It was really cool. I always love exploring, like, nature and just new places, places I haven't been. But anyways, so we finally get to this view after walking forever, and it's super, super cool because in this view, you can look down and you can see part of my town and close to where I live. It's really, really cool. And being a kid, it's, it's exponentially more fun because you get to be on the edge of the cliff you get to look down you get to throw some rocks see how far it takes to tumble down we finally sit down to eat i remember i had a good old lunchable bro you guys have those when you're a kid dude some of you guys still eat those i don't but maybe you do fucking little pieces of ham little crackers you get a little fucking brownie which i never liked because i don't like chocolate fucking a but i remember sitting there eating my little lunchable talking with my dad and I was sitting crisscrossed, and he was, like, sitting across from me, and his back was towards the edge of, like, the cliff, pretty much. And as I'm sitting there enjoying my Lunchable, I look over to right next to my dad. Like, I'm talking probably three feet away from my dad, and I see a snake. And th keep in mind, I was eight or nine years old, dude. This was, this was bigger than just a snake, because I was a fucking kid. I was like, oh my god, there's a snake! And my dad looks over, and he jumps, like, and as he jumps up, he, like, jumps back a little bit. I see his hands just frantically grab onto the side of the cliff and just catch himself immediately, and I see his eyes just get super wide, like he literally almost just died, like he almost just fell off the cliff. And he looks over, and it's just a fucking gardener snake, bro. Gardner snake, I don't know how to say it, but it was just one of the most wimpy-ass snakes ever in Connecticut. Harmless, absolutely harmless. And he's like, you almost just killed me, man. I didn't really even comprehend the situation in my head because I was su such a young kid. I think I started laughing or something. But but think about this, bro. This snake just came along, fucking jabroni, crashed the, p crashed the picnic party with the Lunchables, almost sent my dad off the side of a fucking cliff. Now, I don't know whether to blame the snake or me overreacting to this snake on, on that. Still, that would have fucking sucked. My dad falling off a fucking cliff over a snake. I will always, always remember this time, and I'm obviously super glad my dad didn't fall off a cliff. In all honesty, I think this is one of the times that kind of made me not so scared of snakes, because I realized they're not that big of a big deal unless you got like a huge-ass water moccasin or some crazy poisonous one, which really isn't around where I live, but let me know if you guys have ever had any encounters with snakes in the comments down below. Honestly, fucking hopefully not, dude. Some of the snakes in the west, the, the rattlesnakes and all that, I honestly couldn't imagine even, you know, coming face to face as one of those fuckers, bro. I'd be shivering in my boots, bro. There'd be a whole nother definition of there's a boot in my snake. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy life story. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Share the video on Facebook. I want everybody who watched the entire video till the end to write snazzy in the comments and also, have yourself a snazzy day. Stay high, stay lifted. Peace.